Hello everyone and welcome back to Clover Knows Pets. I'm Clover and today we're going to be making some more chop for parrots and other birds. If you don't know what chop is, it's basically, well, chopped up vegetables and fruit. It can also in include seeds, legumes, herbs, etc. But those are in smaller quantities. For a parrot's diet, including things like parakeets, properly known as budgies, Cockatiels, cockatoos, macaws, African greys, amazons, conures, all of that. Chop should make up at least 80% of their diet. And for other birds, such as canaries, finches, chickens, guinea fowl, quail, it should make up at least 20% of their diet. Anyways, let's get started. Parsley, sugar snap peas, microgreens, bean sprouts, brussels sprouts, bell peppers, cauliflower, broccoli, carrot, and kale. There will also be other ingredients showed later, but those are add-ons such as dried ingredients and therefore not mandatory, so they'll be shown later. Anyways, let's get started. First of all, the bean sprouts. Those don't have to be chopped. Oh my god, I can't talk. Sorry, the microgreens don't have to be chopped since they're so tiny. Those go straight into the bowl. Moving on to the bean sprouts, I'm going to chop them lengthwise first, and then sideways. There we go. Add those to the bowl, then we can move on. As for the parsley, we're going to be chopping this just like you would for food. So straight down like that. We are going to be adding the stem mix to... There we go, just like that. Add that to the bowl, then it's time for the broccoli. As for the broccoli, we're going to start by chopping off the very tops just like this. You can add that to the bowl and then for the stem bit you're just gonna dice that just like that. As for the bell peppers we're going to first remove the green bit. You can compost this or throw it outside for wild animals to eat. Then moving on to the peppers themselves we're first going to chop lengthwise just like that. There we go then you're gonna cut it into strips. There you go. And then you're going to chop vertically along the edges. Leaving it like this and adding it to the bowl now is fine. But if your birds are like mine and they like it really fine, you can chop this even more. Also, don't worry about the seeds. Most birds love the seeds anyways, so they're perfectly fine to add. There we go. Moving on to the bean sprouts, I'm just going to cut these twice like that. And then that's it. Add that to the bowl and then we move on to Brussels sprouts. You're first going to chop them like this, and then flip it and do the same thing. Once that's done, you're going to chop it like this. As for the very ends, you can compost these. Once you're done with that, you can add this to the bowl, or if your birds are picky like mine, you can chop it even more. Moving on to carrots. I personally think the best option is to use a grater, but another option if you don't want have one available is to basically peel it all the way through, then lay them horizontally and chop diagonally. Then you can add it to your bowl. Moving on to kale, you're going to chop this just like the parsley, so not really much to explain. Add that to the bowl, mix it up, then you're done. Time to move on to add-ons. For this batch, add-ons will include a mix called Nature's Salad by a brand called Rosewood Naturals, non-cultivated wild rice, dried elderberries, soaked almonds, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. Keep in mind these are soaked, not normal, which means they have a lot more nutrients and less fat. White sesame seeds. And finally, dried unsweetened coconut. Mix this up, and then your mix is completely done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.